Yeah, I think it's the greatest profession there is. I have never, ever regretted going into science. I look forward to coming to work every day. I don't even view it as work. I view it as fun. Uh, and I go to work or go to fun uh, seven days a week. The reason nanotech's so interesting is that uh, everything when miniaturized has different properties. We developed a technology that allowed you to take a sample of blood, saliva, or urine uh, and interrogate it for different types of targets, targets that are connected with almost anything living. That technology is now used in half the world's top hospitals. And one of the killer applications is to take a sample of blood, for example, or a swab, uh, and interrogate it and look for different types of pathogens. So in the case of blood, you can look for bloodstream infections and diagnose a patient with sepsis within a couple of hours as opposed to several days. That's a life and death type of application. And so if you think about it from a what does it solve standpoint, it solves a lot of major problems. One is it leads to better doctoring. Two is it leads to a better experience for the patient. They're getting the right types of medicines, the medicines they need. Three is it reduces contributions to antibiotic resistance. And four is it significantly reduces the cost of healthcare. You can see we've got uh, capabilities for synthesizing any type of DNA strand that you need. I wasn't born to be a chemist. Uh, I kind of went into chemistry by default. The fact that Dickinson really encouraged you to get involved in many different things and to sample many different topics was also important because I didn't know what I wanted to do really. The folks around me and, and professors in particular really inspired me to, to want to pursue a career and, and then gave me the confidence to, to go do it.